so you know me. I love a good fall theme, even though it's January right now. It's that time of year again for Hobie's No Shades of Grey Challenge. I am partnering up again with Hobie Yarn this year to do another No Shades of Grey Challenge. This is what I made last year. <laughs> you remember, it was a doozy. The yarn, the yarn is nice. I still like the yarn. This was, I believe, the Friends of Cotton yarn, but I didn't realize how heavy it was. And uh, this was my very first hexagon one, but this year, I'm gonna do something different. So a little bit of backstory. The third Monday of January is known as Blue Monday. And the reason why they call it Blue Monday is that it is supposedly the saddest day of the entire year. There's a few factors that go into that. It's a combination of, you know, dreary, bad weather, long nights, and you know, the Christmas spirit is no longer here anymore. So the hustle and bustle of Christmas is done and now it's just back to normal life. And that is why Hobie Yarn starts their No Shade of Grey challenge on this day, which I think this year is January the 15th. Let's unbox some yarn and uh, talk about this year's project. I ordered so much yarn they had to send it in two bags. Yes, that's a lot of yarn, but also the yarn that I got is chunky. Never actually made a chunky sweater, believe it or not. Everything I always use is like a medium weight yarn. This should be interesting. Before I get into this yarn, I think you already know the color scheme I'm going to go with. For the No Shades of Grey challenge, they want you to use bright, fun colors. And although I, I do like bright, fun colors, you know I like to go a little bit retro. So I went a little bit of retro with these colors, but they're still in my, in my like color scheme, bright and fun. So first off, Oh wow, this is this is really chunky yarn. What I did is I ordered three of each color because I don't know how much yarn this is gonna take. All the yarn I got is the same same yarn, right? It's all it's all the same type of yarn. So this is the Amigo Chunky. It is 100% acrylic. It does want me to use a seven millimeter crochet hook. I don't know if I have one of those so I will be looking for one. It's very, very chunky. In the past, I've made hats with this type of yarn, but I've never attempted to make a sweater or a cardigan. So this one is called Sunflower. Very bright, very spring, you know, very not gloomy. So I have this color here. The other color I got is this one here. So it's a little, it's a little different, it's a little different. This one here, I think it looked a little bit more orange on the website and in person it is looking a little bit more yellow so we'll have to see about that uh because this is the other one i got and this one is very yellow this one's called primrose i think this looked a lot more white on on screen so we'll have to see then i also picked this color up here this one is called cognac i believe that's what it's called cognac cognac this is this is this color this is a brown orangey color so it's not a rust i would have ordered the rust but they were out of the rust unfortunately because you know i would have bought that because it's like a perfect combination of orange and brown so this one here as you can see it's kind of giving like this coppery color it's the only way I can describe it. it. It looks very copper, but it's very pretty. And then I got this one here, which is called Egg Yolk. And this one is on camera. It's looking very yellow, but in person, it is a beautiful orange color. It's that retro orange color that I'm always looking for because either you get a neon orange or you get a pumpkin orange. You never get that in-between orange. And this is that in-between orange. And I know it's coming off as very, very yellow, but in person, it's very much orange. Kind of see the difference of yellow. Yellows. A second bag to open. Let's see what I ordered in here. I kind of forgot the colors I picked out. Oh wow, okay. The last color I picked out is this one. And this one's called Bright Orange. I'm gonna be honest, I don't remember picking these colors out. Like I know I picked these colors out, but also I don't remember. What was my theme? I've already forgotten like what I'm doing because I've actually changed it since I picked these colors out, which is not the best. It's good to stick with a theme and continue with that theme until you're done the project. But no, 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 I had to change it up. These are the colors that I'm working with. I think they're very pretty. I feel like online, they might have come off as a different shades. Like I mentioned, for this project, I wanted to go with a really chunky yarn and their Amigo chunky yarn, it, it was probably the best bet that I could find. They have so many different color selections for this yarn and at first I was kind of debating what colors I wanted but then when I was looking at all of them I just love the colors that I picked out I think they look so good together I'm just so excited to actually start working with them so this is the color scheme for 
this project. I know the pattern. So I'm gonna put the pattern here. Remember that pillow that I made? Remember these pillows? Well, I was thinking about doing that pattern on these pillows, but because I hadn't really tested it out, I didn't wanna like waste my time in case I didn't like it. Well, I like it and I wanna do it. So I wanna do it for this project. And, but I don't know if I wanna do it as a cardigan or as a sweater. The plan is to use these beautiful colors together, try to figure out a good color combo that they're not gonna like be too weird. I have to think of the color combo. What I'm thinking is I'm gonna be doing, you know, two sleeves and a back piece. This is where it gets a little thinned because if I do a back piece, I have to make it wider than I normally would. But if I make it not a back piece and I make it a sweater instead of a car, what I'm saying is if I make it a car sweater instead of a cardigan, then the back piece is gonna have to be smaller. So I think I'm just gonna stick with my original plan and do a cardigan for this because with the thicker yarn, it's like a granny stitch. It's a granny stitch, but it's like a, it looks more like flowers. And with like the pattern I wanna go with, I think the cardigan is probably the best form of action to do this because it's a very thick yarn and I think if I made it into a sweater it'd be way too thick and I'm not gonna wear it so I know myself by now. I'm gonna make it into a cardigan. Don't know the color scheme yet but I think that these colors are just so bright and vibrant and so pretty together that yes I know this is looking very fall right now but I mean like look at the colors I made last year it's pretty much the same colors except there's more yellows in here and I didn't put a green technically it's like the, almost almost the identical color scheme as last year's project so you know me I love a good fall theme even though it's January right now but yeah so that's the idea I am just going to make some nice cute like a nice pattern I just have to figure out what pattern I want to go in like the color wise but other than that I think that this project is going to be super fun to work with it's going to be very very bright, very colorful. I think I'm gonna like it. It's gonna be very interesting using a thicker yarn, so maybe I'll get the project done faster. That would be amazing if this was a very quick project. I'm going to really like that. This is actually one of the front panels. It's as far as I've gotten, I kind of wanted to play around with the colors. So the order I went in was bright orange, sunflower, cognac, egg yolk, and then prim rose. And then after prim rose, I'm going back to bright orange. So I think that's like a pretty good layout. I think I like how they blend together. It's so funny because like on screen, the colors really, really pop. And then like off screen, they're very kind of subtle together, which is kind of nice, you know? I feel like I picked the right colors with this. Yeah, I'm very happy with these colors. And don't forget, you can also participate in the No Shades of Grey challenge. I will be linking the yarn that I bought along with Hobie Yarn in my description below. Hobie Yarn has a wide variety of colors and yarns for crochet crocheters and knitters and they also have all of the accessories and also check out their competition page this is for anybody who uses their yarn you can find current competitions and you can also look up upcoming competitions i'm really excited for these spring ones i just really want spring to finally get here you can also check out past competitions and see what projects won and while visiting Hobie Yarn, check out their pattern section. They have some that you do need to pay for under plus, but they also have a ton of free knitting and crocheting projects. Like look at all of these Valentine's Day themed crochet projects. They are just so cute. I might have to make some of my own. They also have some sweaters. They have pillowcases. Not to mention they have some basics like really cute hats that are both crocheted and knitted as well as some cute little pet accessories. That does it for this video. This is a part one. I probably should mention this is part one of part two. Part two is when the whole thing is done and you know, but this is part one. Yeah, if you're new to my channel, like sewing, thrifting, crafting, and of course crocheting, why not hit the subscribe button? You can follow me on my Instagram and my TikTok and my Patreon. I think that's it. So y'all have a good day now.